Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I just want to take a few minutes. First of all, I want to thank, thank all of my subscribers and all the people who have liked and commented on my YouTube channel um, and shared. Um, that's a big help uh, to help my, you know, to help reach more people and to just, you know, really let them know that, you know, the iOS music making is not uh, a toy that there you can produce real music if you play with them like a toy then they're a toy but if you pr play with them like a actual production tool then it's a tool um, and I also um, had a few thoughts uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and it seems like the general theme across some of the videos that I recently watched um, they're you know a few months old but I just recently watched them was uh, Graham from the Recording Revolution had some tips to the new music industry um, or the new rules of the music industry and consistency seemed to be his you know overall theme branding yourself and just being consistent and then I just learned about uh, this guy Henny the Business um, his YouTube channel I'll leave the link in the description to uh, both of these guys and he had one on consistency versus perfection I just think that was interesting that, you know, you know, two people, you know, from different um, areas. I'm not, I'm not sure if they subscribe to each other or, you know, watch each other's videos. But I've been thinking about a lot about just being more consistent. And I took a YouTube uh, creator course. Uh, it just popped up on my news feed. So if you are, um, if it does pop up, you know, that's a, it's a informative um, little group of uh, videos and little articles. But consistency was the thing uh kind of you know what i got out of that video as well or those sets of videos and then in the audiobus forum there was somebody asking about uh kind of a workflow they got some grooves going on and you know several different apps and you know they kind of eventually want to get it into ableton live but you know what's a good workflow as far as you know, just getting these ideas and grooves from one app to the other and things like that. And it just got me thinking about just workflow. Now I have my, I have a consistent workflow as far as making YouTube uh, tutorial videos for, you know, iOS or even, you know, if I got a few desktop apps that I'm going to do as well. You know, I have that down pat, but one thing I don't have is a workflow for taking music that's in my head or music, you know, that I'm dabbling around with or playing around with and getting it to something tangible and so hopefully over the next few months I will gonna try to dive in you know as I get some uh, new apps and um, hopefully uh, maybe a new piece of gear that I'll be able to find that kind of golden uh, consistency workflow that you know, I can consistently put out music. Um, another kind of theme between uh, Henny and uh, Graham was it does not have to be perfect. If you spend months and months and months on, you know, perfecting, you know, one or two songs, you know, that's, you know, you can, I mean, if, if that's what you want to do, I mean, you can do that. But if you're trying to be consistent and grow Put something out there. It don't have to be perfect because what you can do is once you have something from start to finish, then you can look back on it and say, okay, well, these are the things I learned. These are the things I'll do differently next time. But if you're always in that constant trying to make the one project that you have or the two projects that you're you know, working on better, then you're never going to have a final product to, to think back on and say, okay, well, I, could, I did this really good. You know, I like the sound of this, but I don't necessarily like the sound of that, so I need to improve on that. Because if you're always working on the same project, then you're never going to have that ability to look back on it. And so I was just thinking about that a lot, and, you know, I've, you know, dabbled, and I've, even whenever I first started learning guitar, you know, I would, you know, play the intro to a song, and then kind of quit, and everybody would be like, well, why did you stop? I was like, well, I mean, that's really the whole song. And what I should have been doing back then is working on my vocals because now it's that's a whole other story. But I'm trying to trying to put myself out there vocally. Um, but 
anyway, it's just really finding that kind of workflow to get something from your head to something tangible. You know, life is, you know, everybody says life is the journey and not, you know, necessarily where you end up. You know, I think that's true in music as, you know, enjoying playing, the, you know, keyboard and producing and all this stuff is the journey and that is really fun. But being able to, if you want to improve, you actually have something, you actually have to have something tangible that you can say, oh, I need to improve on this or that or and I did this really good. And so that's really all I want to just say is, you know, just complete something, anything, one thing, two things, whatever. Just complete one thing and be like, okay, well, I see where I messed up on this, but I did that really well. So I'm going to do that really well again on this next track, but I'm going to change some things that I messed up on this track. You know, and then, you know, after you've done that several times and you actually have, you know, some things that are consistent, then if you want to go back and say, okay, well, I have all the raw files, everything, I want to go back and remix this one or change the bass part on this one or whatever, that would be... I think that would be okay, but you just need to do something and have something tangible to compare to, you know, six months down the road road when you have something else. You, mean, you can compare them together and be like, okay, well, I've definitely improved instead of just having, you know, dabbles, little bitty short grooves and waveforms across, you know, 15 different um, online storage things because you have a 16 gig iPad and you have to dump things and random places in order to free up space you never have that tangible thing to compare or that warm and fuzzy that you get when you complete something so um, happy friday guys and i will talk to you guys later